Have you ever prayed But never got an answer And wondered if God was really there Did you feel all hope was gone But in his time he came along And answered the prayer you thought was gone no prayer too small For God hears them all The answer may not be just what you want But He always knows what's right Even when we think it's wrong Just remember there is no prayer to shall receive no matter what it is I still believe there is no prayer too small and even when we fall he gives us just exactly what we need there is no prayer too small Just what you want But he always knows what's right Even when we think it's wrong Just remember There is no prayer to small No prayer to small He always Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach. I'm the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I'm going to share something with you. And let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin. You tried lifting the lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid prevents you from opening the lid. You tried banging on the lid to maybe unsettle the dirt, so maybe somebody will start digging their way down towards you. This is what it's like to feel at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help, you know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know where to turn. In reality, there are people probably standing by your grave. You just don't know that. You just think you're going to die. 
Usually, though, people don't think about that when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind while you were abusing drugs and alcohol that you might just overdose and take something away that God had given you called life? And if that's not selfish enough, you're taking that life, your life, away from the people that count on you most. Mother, father, brother, sister, husband, wife, children, and even your grandchildren. With this, let me leave one last thought. Don't be like the person I just spoke about. Instead, pick up the phone. Then call me at 844-405-HELP, and I promise you I'll help you take your life back, for your life is gone. At night, take those slippers off and stick them under your bed. Don't stick them at the edge of your bed, under the bed, all the way under. That way in the morning, you'll be dropping to your knees to retrieve those slippers, and while you're on your knees, utilize a thing I call knee mail, K-N-E-E mail. Knee mail is your time to spend with God each and every morning when you get those slippers, to thank God for everything that you have, your home, health, food, relationship to ask God for guidance and direction, forgiveness and mercy. It is your personal conversational time between you and God, from your lips to God's ears each and every morning. If you take your slippers off at night and put them under your bed at night, and then in the morning drop to your knees and pick them up and put them on, walk with God 24-7. Knee mail, K-N-E-E mail. If you have any questions about knee mail, give me a call at 844-405-HELP. Suffering. The <clears throat> the secret to my greatest happiness. If there's one thing I know, it's suffering. And where alcohol is involved, hard times are damn near guaranteed, folks. The dark days and long nights of our heart's most treacherous journeys are hard. You would know if you have been down that road before. Sometimes they're so hard, it's though our tired soul is crawling through broken glass. Whenever or wherever we crawl, the sharp and jagged shards beneath us pierce through to make us cry out and wince in pain. The longer we have to crawl through it, the more our throbbing wounds gnaw at our hopes and determination, folks. Sometimes we become so worn down from our painful trek that we lose all will to move forward, and not even for another inch. And so we just lay there without an ounce of hope, and the glass wearing away at our bodies pushes itself even deeper within, within us. These hard times, my friends, can leave us with wounds that burns and scabs that won't ever, ever heal. And even though our wounds may close up and our scabs may rub off, there's a scar that reminds us of the pain that just can't seem to shake. We long to see the scars disappear because they are a vivid reminder of the terrible pain that we experience during these troubling times. A pain that sometimes hurts more than uh, it did when, you know, it actually happened. A pain that we wish would just disappear. Just go away. But those pains, my friends, who would be without them? As much pain as there was getting those scars, there actually possesses the beauty that just waiting to be discovered, and so the pain the scars of our lives actually something to be admired. In fact, I'd say there's something to be treasured. But cherish our deepest scars, you might ask, and appreciate our worst pains? Is there such thing even possible? And why would anyone even want to do that? Well, the answer to that is more empowering than you can ever imagine. You are who you are because of these pains. Everything you've experienced has brought you to being you just as you are right now. You know things about life that so many people will never know because of those pains. That gives you wisdom, insight, compassion that other people will never ever attain. Your experiences have shown you things and taught you powerful lesson in life. Getting through it all the way was not an easy feat, but despite the darkness, you pushed yourself forward and made it through, and I congratulate you for that. Sure, there are things that you dislike about yourself. Who doesn't? But that's because you, or, uh, you thought you deserved a critic when you actually needed a friend. You give yourself a hard time for all your so-called flaws and shortcomings, but you forget what you've done and what you've gone through and where you've come from. You're giving yourself bitterness when you deserve forgiveness. Once you start to treat yourself like a dear friend instead of a long, despised enemy, you'll see that there is good in you, more than you could ever have imagined before. And the more good you have the, and the more good you can see in yourself, the greater the good you'll expi uh, aspire to. Whether you love, you are 
or you make yourself crazy, the awesomeness within you is building and it's waiting for you to beam your light upon the world. Moving beyond our suffering is hard, but the fact remains, pain makes us all stronger. Just as Colossus toughened up our hands and enabled them to endure more than we could do before, our pain also makes us stronger. But it doesn't just make us able to bear the harsher experiences of life. It teaches us what really matters. Pain opens our eyes to the things that we want to do and the things that we want to know more, allowing us to truly see how understanding, acceptance, and love mean, uh, mean more than social status or materialistic things. No matter how much we may doubt or criticize ourselves, choosing to be better instead of bitter will make us the very best versions of ourselves. We can transform our breakdowns into breakthroughs in an instant with but a single conscious decision that can happen. It's really that simple, a moment of consciousness. Your darkest moments in life have already defined you, but the story you tell of these moments can change in an instant. Create a new story now by replacing your excuses and pride with gratitude. Appreciate the strength and the wisdom that life has given you and see how your unique experiences can be used to change the world around you. You know things, things that can help those struggling to move forward. And you may have had but a dim, a dim light to get through your darkest hours, but now you have a path and the beaming light is upon that path to keep walking and witnessing. Tony Robbins, a motivational speaker, says, you don't get beyond uh, scarcity, you have to start beyond it. The same philosophy goes for you and everything that you want from life. There aren't certain things that need to happen in order to move on and pass and become something great. Being great is a choice that you make and the greatness happens the moment you choose to act as though you already are there. So don't wait. Be great. Start today. Start now. Because you have one hell of a light and it's about the damn time you let it shine and let it shine in your life and let it shine upon other people. Through my videos, over 1500 videos now on YouTube, just go to the search bar and put Take Your Life Back Today Show with Ralph Friedrichs or just Take Your Life Back Today Show or just my name, Ralph Friedrichs, R-E-L-F Friedrichs. My videos is my way of letting the shine, the light shine upon you in your lives and may God bless you.
will ask you shall receive no matter what it is I still believe there is no prayer to small and even when we fall he gives us just exactly what we 